You know what I'm saying? It's got to be who you become. Right. But that's what practice is about. That's yeah. what this time of the year is about, right? Developing these habits so that it becomes who they are. Right. Wing player, in our opinion, is a two-way player, a guy that can, you know, light it up on offense as well as be a lockdown defender on defense, a guy that can get in passing lanes, create offense from their defense, get out in transition, live on the glass, obviously a guy that can make shots and play make and create as well. Move it, move it, move it! This year, I think we definitely got to step up and maximize our roles and, and just be the best player we can be inside of our roles and just play into their strengths, minimizing their weaknesses and and stepping up in the place that we need to be stepping up in. As long as you can lean into the coaching and not shy away from it, you'll definitely get better when you're around such great coaches and such great mentors. Naheem Aline came to us from Virginia Tech. He was a three-year starter there, a double-digit scorer on the NCAA tournament team. He developed a reputation as a catch-and-shoot player, a really good three-point shooter. The pleasant surprise for us is that he's a little bit more than that. I'm trying to prove that I'm more than just a shooter. Go! I can handle the ball, I can play man, I can defend. I'm just trying to bring value to any team I play on. He can create off the dribble, he's a dependable passer, a reliable ball handler, and more than anything, he's a dependable defender, which we're gonna rely on him a, a ton. You know, he's fighting for a huge role on his team and he's doing a great job to this point. Naheem is doing very well. I think he's making a good transition from Virginia Tech, and I think he's bringing a lot. He definitely is a good teammate, and he has a really good feel for the game, and I think he's going to help us out in a lot of ways this year. And He's always helping me like find ways to get better, and I appreciate that. I think Andre Jackson went a little underappreciated last year for what he was able to do for us. He can rebound the ball, he can play make, he can assist the ball, he can score the ball. He was great defensively in terms of getting in passing lanes and what he does for us is a huge key to our success. My role on the team last year was mostly a defender and a rebounder, a passer, facilitator. This year my role has grown a little bit into more of a scoring role and also passing and distributing the ball and being on the ball a little bit more than I was last year. It's a different perspective watching from the sideline. It sucks, but it also gives me a time to like really dissect the game from a mental standpoint so that when I do get out there that I'm ready to step back in. He approaches the game with a ton of energy and enthusiasm. He loves to play. He plays with a lot of intensity, always encouraging guys, positive attitude. Focus on. Good job, Joe. To have a player like that you can rely on every day to bring it is important. John Hawk is an extremely talented, talented player with a great combination of size, length, and athleticism. Obviously, his superpower is his shooting, and he's a great athlete as well. Out in transition, you can see some of the high-level finishes that he brings to the table every day. I think last year was a learning experience for him, coming in as a heavily touted freshman onto a senior-laden team with guys with a ton of experience wasn't easy for him. I went to his freshman year, up and down year, uh, had some really high highs and some really low lows. Uh, I appreciate that year because it, it humbled me and uh, it made me see the bigger picture. I learned how to play with the team. Getting to play with those guys and I learned how to play with high level players taught me a lot. Here he is. Hawk is a, is a problem, man. He's one of the hardest players to guard that I've played against. I love guarding him every day in practice. It's, it's definitely a challenge and it, it makes me have to go harder. So he's a great kid on and off the court, carries himself the right way. So I think he's got really good blessings coming his way. Apostolos has been great. You know, Apostolos came to us from Greece. He was a late signee for us, but he has tremendous size. He's got great toughness. He loves to play. He comes to us with some professional experience, which is boding well for him out here. He's not afraid of anything. He's not being introduced to anything that he hasn't seen before. He's gonna fight for some minutes, and whether it's this year or down the line, I think he's gonna be a good player for us. I'm extremely excited about our players, extremely excited for our team and program. This is an opportunity for us to take the next step in our journey here at UConn and start fighting for conference championships and final fours and even beyond that. Run harder! Every day we're one step closer to that first tip off. So like, I believe in this group with everything I got. I really do. I'm definitely confident that this group will be able to push through a lot of adversity. I'm really just looking forward to like getting out there and playing with these guys and suing up against another team. We can be really good. We got some guys on this team. We got some studs. I think we can be really good. I think we can be better than we were last year. 
I'm really excited to start this new journey. It's just gonna be exciting, you know, just watch out, that's all.